Hello everybody, welcome back to Blaster Hunter Rise. Except this isn't just a regular gameplay video, but as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, we're going to be doing an analysis series on monsters in this monster-filled universe. So let's just get this over with. First of all, I just wanted to say that this was inspired by another YouTuber who is named Papa Gabe. So if you like this video, go check him out for his ones on the predecessors to this game, Monster Hunter World, and its dangerous monsters. Now that all that's dealt with, let's start talking about our main subject for this video. The one, the only, great, is it Dude, stop trying to attack me. You literally do nothing. I'm trying to give you a cool introduction and you're ruining it. <sighs> Anyways, the great Yuzuji is our first launch monster we ever face, and thus because of this, it is also the easiest to beat. Not really that great, is it? Though, even if it is the easiest monster, it may some of you that fall weak to its attacks, no matter how little damage you take. So I will now go over some of its attacks. Fighting Capabilities the first being the, I whip my tail back and forth, the fidget spinner. I'm scratch your face so hard. I'm gonna scratch your face from all the way over here. I spit on you, pathetic human. And the tail smash. The tail smash is something to look out for, because once it pulls off the move, a good sharp tipped tail stuck in the ground like the moron it is. Also, Jolson is able to get you from really far away, so it'd be best if he starts doing its... to start moving and rolling away from danger. However, that tail smash is one of its weaknesses, so it should really be in our next section, which is... Weaknesses. When it comes to breakable parts, you can break its tiny face that contains its tiny brain, its body, foreleg, tail, and a super sharp tail tip that can get stuck. Though you're probably going to have a better time trying to break its face or hook tail tip considering that they have more damage from any weapon. I mean, it's not a lot to say considering that he literally takes a lot of damage from any weapon, but... <sighs> now let's talk about the ailment weaknesses. You're really not going to have a good time trying to use any of the blights unless it's thunder, but even with that, it won't be the best amount of damage. Meanwhile, on the other side of the coin, ailments are pretty much all good except poison, paralysis, and sleep, which are going to be the best thing to use, though at the point where you find you probably won't want none of these, and you seriously won't need them considering how easy this man is. Another thing to point out is that after taking enough damage, he will get knocked over where you can do even more damage. Now that covers all those weaknesses, which are not considering how pathetic this dude is, I'm not even joking about the fact that literally the biggest paragraph in this entire script is the one about his weaknesses. weaknesses. Like, I mean, seriously, how pathetic is too pathetic? When filming the footage for this video, it took me five and a half minutes, and half of that was me doing the intro, and me waiting for him to do the attacks I want to show off. Well, that's it for the first episode of Monster Analysis, name pending. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, leave a like, leave a tip in the comments down below, and I'll subscribe for a new joint content. Leave, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.